I wonder what it would have felt like to be one of the big dogs on campus. I wonder who won prom king and queen. What was my class theme song? I never know what it feels like to open up my school yearbook and see my picture. I have no pictures. I have no senior memories, no cap, and no gown. What was the last day of high school like? Who was the class president? I wonder if any of my peers missed me in action. I wonder do they even remember who I am? All of these questions are questions I never had an answer to. You see, the day I dropped out of high school was the day I deprived myself of everything I had worked so hard for. That was the day I robbed myself of one of the greatest accomplishments of my life. I've learned that the true value of life is hidden in those moments that we can never relive. You see, my chance to experience those moments are gone, and I'll never get them back. I regret not knowing what it feels like to walk from one side of the stage to the next. I regret not giving my mom the very thing that she didn't give her parents, a sheet of paper. A sheet of paper that would have no doubt made her to know that she was appreciated. Every morning she woke me up and started me on my way. So not only did I rob myself, but I also robbed her of the chance to relive that moment through me. What about those who looked up to me? What about my brothers? All my life I was considered a leader. So as a leader, was it the leader thing for me to do? To quit? To give up? To give in? Nah, it wasn't. For some people, I was the only example that they had. So when I failed me, I failed them. I sent the message that it was okay to quit. I sent the message that it was okay to work so hard for so long and to give it all up at the very end. I was almost at the point of no return. After you cross the finish line, the race ends. But until you cross it, it's never over. Don't be so quick and so anxious to finish. Because this race is not given to the swift nor the fast, but to those who endure to the end. Somebody somewhere believes in you. Somebody somewhere is rooting for you. But you see, it's not enough for everyone else to believe in you. You have to first believe in yourself. To believe is to trust in. So do you trust you? Could you trust you? Or better yet, will you trust you? You have to get to the point that you trust yourself. So many times we place the value of our trust into the hands of our fellow peers and hope that they will hold us accountable to an acceptable social standard. You have the power, don't give it away. Only you can make the true difference in your life. Let me break it down for you. We spend so much time following the wrong people to the point that we make the mistake of becoming just like them. They say birds of a feather flock together, so ask yourself, who am I flocking with and why? Then ask yourself, are they where I desire to be in my life? Are they adding to you? You are subtracting from you it's so easy to be influenced by the people you think are the coolest that's why I erred a lot I found myself hanging with the wrong people doing the wrong things I guarantee you that in the end it's never worth it who you choose to hang with in school can reflect where you end up after school watch the company that you keep around you for it just may make or break you if I could, I would go back and do it all over again. This time I'll do it for me. This time I'll listen to the wise counsel that's available and willing to help me make it to the finish line. This time I'd be attentive to the things that would advance me rather hinder me. I make myself more available to attend extracurricular activities that will keep me on the right path. Second best is never a substitution for your best. However, second best still counts. I was one of the many individuals who had to settle with my second best. My first best would have carried me to the finish line with the rest of the runners, but since I chose to make a pit stop at dropout high, I had to finish the race alone. I counted every year that I was behind as a lap. I got my diploma three years after I was supposed to, which made me three laps behind the rest of my class. Could you imagine starting a race with 337 others? And finishing alone Do you know how it feels to know If you make it or not Well dig this I do I know how it feels It's a feeling that I'm praying you never have to feel Yes I finished the race alone But I'd rather finish alone Than to never have finished at all 
That's what makes a true champion. A true champion is known for finishing, no matter where they placed. After I received my diploma, I didn't tell my mom right away because I wanted to see the reaction on her face and give her the opportunity to enjoy the moment publicly. So that following Sunday after I received my diploma, we planned on doing a surprise presentation for her. But guess what? She never showed up. She didn't come that Sunday because she didn't have the gas money to get there. She made it every Sunday except that Sunday. Again, could you imagine how I felt? If I would have finished when I was supposed to have finished, then maybe she would have seen me. I thought to myself. Nevertheless, she was astonished. For the first time ever, she knew what it felt like to hold a diploma that had her last name on it. I could never express the feeling that I felt as I handed my mom what she'd always wanted. I can only imagine the door she felt on the inside every time she passed by a living room table. It's a diploma with my name on it. <sighs> to this very day, it makes me smile on the inside. Just to know that before she passed away, she witnessed me do what seemed to be the impossible. You see, I finally made it to the finish line, but when I got there, I crossed it alone. There was no one on the other side to share the celebration of victory with. I never got the chance to hear the crowd cheer me on as I received my diploma. My diploma came in silence. Shh. My diploma came via mail. However, I am so forever grateful for second chances. Every day I wished I could have just done it right at the right time. All that I went through to get where I should have been wasn't worth it. Don't detour your life when the road is set up before you. Don't become your own obstacle. Dream it, believe it, retrieve it, and you shall receive it. Don't make it so hard for yourself. Finish the race. Run on and see what the end is going to be. Your story don't have to be my story. Believe in yourself. You are worth your best. You are worth your education. And your education is worth you. Think about it.